Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Or even thumbs the button. Thumbs it down if you ain't feeling it. You know, either way, up or down, it don't matter. Joy Reid, MSNBC, one of their uh, golden gooses, went on a rant and basically said that if you don't vote for Kamala Harris, you're not black. How dare you vote for somebody when we have a chance to have the first black woman be in office? For yo, those people who might be in shock, like me, I'm going to play the video and I'll come back with my thoughts. Fair use. stratospheric entrance of Vice President Kamala Harris into the presidential campaign and she has now secured enough delegates to become the nominee you're gonna look real crazy being on the other side of that line particularly as a person of color but really as anyone who claims to have any connection to the culture you're going to look real weird and real lonely on that side. The door needs to close behind Amber. And she look crazy over there. But shut the door behind her. You really are going to look crazy being on that side, given the cultural phenomenon of Vice President Kamala Debbie Harris. Mind you, this is the Harvard graduate. This is the Harvard graduate basically telling you that because Kamala is black i guess i i ain't never heard her say she was black but whatever but you gotta vote for her only because she black not because of her policies not because of what she can do for this country not because what she can do for black people but because she's black you have to vote for her and this is the sad part about honestly about politics and i think that people are starting to wake up on the democrat side really on both but real on the democrat side people are really seeing the hypocrisy of this because this is the same bs they run every every election time like i said this is the the old statue of liberty plays blue and eat blue and eat coach we ran to play 40 times it don't matter we run another time they'll be dumb enough to just to fall for the same thing over and over and over and over again now so let me get this straight. So if if I look at both parties or whoever's running, right, and I choose to vote for who I'm comfortable with, I'm not black and I should be shunned and ashamed. Why come black people aren't shunned and ashamed for not shopping at black stores? Joy, do you work for a black network? I don't see you working for a black network unless I'm tripping. I don't see you working for a black network. MSNBC ain't owned by black people. You know, I, I do, do you get your hair from black people? Do you get your nails done from black people? Uh Oh, we don't ever want to talk about stuff like this, huh? See, as people, you got to do your own research. Now, if Kamala can come out with policies that I like policies that I like, and I don't want to hear no pie in the sky and all. No. I want to I want to hear about strategic policies that you're going to pass for somebody that look like me. And then we might be able to talk. But this is what they do. They even tried. I remember they tried to ridicule Ice Cube because he had a plan and he wanted to talk to both parties. He talks to Biden party says all oh, this way till after the election, a.k.a. get out of here. We ain't we don't want to hear it. And then Trump listens and talks. But then they ridicule him for talking to Trump. But it's like, but if one party don't want it, why we can't go to the other party? So I don't know. This is the hypocrisy. This is embarrassing. Like I said, this is a Harvard graduate. She knows what she's doing. It's 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 triggering. And I'm not voting for Kamala, more than likely. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. It is what it is. Unless she can do something to spark my interest, I'm not going to vote for her. Because what has been done for black people under their policy right now? I'll wait. Didn't Kamala go out when she was debating against Trump's former vice president and she said that Joe Biden wants to decriminalize marijuana? Has that happened yet? And how many years has he been in office? Don't tell me the stuff can't get done because it can when you're the president of the United States. So whatever, man. It, 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 every four years, every four years, and you're going to start seeing them get with everybody and the, the, the Cardi B's and Every other rapper, they're going to try to sound cool. and 
man, we about done out here. Like I said, in my opinion, I don't think she's going to win. It's going to be a clean sweep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's going to have to have better policy. What are you going to do for us? I'm not voting no more just because you black. Y'all don't support me just because I'm black. Y'all run over there to them other platforms. And see, I'm about to start name dropping. Let me get off here. I do want to get my quick thoughts about it. Am I tripping? Should I am am I should I be banned or or is it just me? Y'all let me know below.